Good morning, everyone. This angle is a bit, you know, questionable, but I, more if I hit the table and knock you guys down, but I wanted to do a day in my life video because I haven't done one in a while. Actually, I don't know if I've posted many on this channel, but yeah, I usually do them on my Spanish one, so I thought might as well do it in both languages and then, I don't know. Thought I would do that, so welcome to a day in my life. Today's a working day, but I also need to go to a midwife appointment and do a couple other things. So I'm gonna take you along. I'm gonna show you a couple updates on this room. One, you'll see paint color. Uh, we painted this room, which is the one that I work in. It's gonna become the baby's room. So we're gonna have to get rid of the desk and get potentially a really small one to go in her bedroom. Gonna have to get rid of uh, so many things. This angle is um, hideous. Also, I'm trying to be tactical and hide a lot of the mess that we have everywhere because we've bought so many things for the baby and for me for the hospital. So I am trying to hide all of that while, you know, showing you my day at the same time. So yeah, ignore the weird angles and that kind of thing. Painted uh, blue all the way to here, uh, which is the, I believe it's the B&Q it's still like the own brand from being q of paint and i think the color is monaco if i remember correctly but yeah it's just a blue paint we went all the way to here and then left it white we also bought this new wardrobe which mimi is very interested in right now uh wardrobe from ikea so it's one of the pax wardrobes uh, which is much bigger than the wardrobe we had there before so these two doors here they still have all the stuff that we had in before but there's more room and then this third door I'll show you in a second. It's got all the baby stuff in terms of clothes and that kind of thing. Everything else is everywhere. I'll show you a little bit what we have in here because it's full of stuff. And please keep in mind, we have barely bought anything. Most of it is things that have been gifted to us in terms of clothes. Up here, we've got like miscellaneous things like these blocks that I got from Etsy for like taking photos and stuff. But then all these are clothes. This one is zero to three. This we got in New York, which I think is adorable. Look how mm, freaking tiny that is. Also got a few things from Primark, including this Space is Ace little jumper. But yeah, all of this, which is super full, not being washed yet, so that's why it's not organized. All of this, zero to three. We've got a bunch of three to six over here, and then more stuff in the others. Now that I'm up, potentially going out of breath, I'm gonna show you my outfit and my bump. Again, ignore the mess everywhere. It is what it is, but this is the only full-length mirror we have in the flat right now, so this is what I'm using. Also, I don't know if I need to cut my hair because it's getting super long, but basically, outfit is just this uh, t-shirt from H&M that I put a knot in. Also from H&M, these uh, leggings that show you my bump, and then it's just my slippers, but yeah, that's the outfit. But basically, this is my bump at 31 weeks. They need to measure it today at the appointment to make sure that it's all going the right way and all of that. I think I might be measuring slightly bigger, but we'll see. That is my bump right now at 31 weeks. Let's see how that progresses. I need to go and make some tea. I'll pop you guys here for the tea making, but basically, I'm gonna make myself a decaf tea because I know you can have some caffeine in pregnancy and a lot of people keep having their coffees and all of that. I don't actually drink coffee so it's not really a problem for me and I do have green teas every once in a while but I do prefer to have a decaf if I can so that's what I'm gonna make right now. And here we are, I've also given Mimi some food. So yeah, cause she was meowing a little bit. And yeah, let's go back to work. Enough of that. I need to eat. I need to eat or otherwise I feel really sick. So back in the kitchen. Reality is I need to get the bread underneath you guys. And actually I'm also expecting a delivery from Sainsbury's later. So actually I'm gonna improvise and see what I can make for breakfast. So here's the improvised breakfast because I didn't really have anything. So it's just toast with olive oil, tomato, and some black pepper on top. 
I was gonna say that one of the things that I haven't told you guys yet is that I've got less than two months until I have to go on maternity leave so I'm getting quite excited for that actually but I know it's not gonna be a holiday and that I can't think like I'm gonna be quite busy recovering and everything uh, to begin with but I'm quite excited yeah work is feeling a bit weird in that sense because I know that in two months I'm not gonna be there and I don't know it's kind of like I'm leaving the job and even though you know I'll go back and that kind of thing but kind of feels like I'm finishing up so it yeah the mindset of having to work every day is not the same as before in a way I'm excited to get everything done because I know that after two months I'm not gonna have to do it anymore uh, for a few months but yeah I don't know feeling a bit weird but anyway I'm gonna head out because I um, have to go to my midwife appointment So I'm back from my appointment and I've got good news and bad news. Good news is the baby's moved. So he's actually now head down, which is perfect, great, so happy with that. But they actually forgot to give me a form for a blood test for my week 28. I'm now 31 weeks. So they were like, uh, can you just go to the hospital and do that? And I'm like, mm, okay, but I forgot to ask what time they stopped doing blood tests. I know, I don't think it's a full day thing. I don't know, actually. So I'm gonna have to call because if I, if I have to go get the form and do the blood test and I go today for the form and they make me go tomorrow for the blood test, that's annoying. I'd rather do both at the same time. So yeah, good news, but yeah, I need to do more stuff and it's just so much stuff and I get so tired, but yeah, good update. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know. So now I'm just waiting for my Sainsbury's ordered to arrive because I don't have any food so I need to wait for that so I can have lunch So I couldn't wait any longer so I've made myself an improvised again Little egg sandwich with uh, vegan mayo and some blueberries here in a bowl I don't know if you can see, there we go And yeah, they're still in the time they can arrive but I just couldn't wait any longer So I'm just gonna eat this now and then they can bring the food whenever And here we have Mimi's little cameo for the day they finally brought me the food and I completely forgot to show you guys I was gonna show you all the food that I got but I completely forgot and I put it all away so there we go the only thing that I'm gonna show you is the pickles that I'm gonna open right now and eat not because it's a craving because I think some people have asked uh, I haven't actually had any pregnancy cravings whatsoever but I just yeah I got them for salads and stuff and I just thought I might open them and eat a couple and Mimi's going crazy in the background uh, because the man uh, came in so she can smell him like I don't usually let them come in but one of the boxes uh, one of the crates that he brings had all of Mimi's food which is quite heavy so I was like well can you bring that one in put it on the floor and then I'll empty it but he came in and like emptied all of it and I was like oh, okay mm, whatever well oh, good now and I've got half an hour left of my lunch break so here we go don't know why I've started doing this right now but here we are so I'm gonna start doing my hospital bag and I've got this suitcase here, you can't really see but I've got a suitcase. And also this bag I bought from Amazon which is gonna be like the diaper nappy bag, whatever you wanna call it. And so I'm gonna put all the baby stuff here and yeah, cause I've got it everywhere in the flat so might as well just put it where it goes. So I've got a list on my phone of all the things that I wanna bring so I'm just gonna start ticking them so then I know what I've put inside and all that stuff. So I thought I had loads of things laying around, apparently not, obviously this is not everything that I'm taking. Uh, I still need to put loads more things but it's kind of what I had laying around that I just wanted to put in one place. So it looks quite empty but this is what I have here right now. I also need to wash these so yeah I'm just putting them there but I need to remember to wash them and then things for the baby in there. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna play a game because a new game came out today which is a Disney Dream Life Valley game which is like a simulation game, like a farming sort of game. I don't know if you guys play that kind of game, but I do. So I quite like it and I mean, I hope I like it. I've seen videos and it looks good. That's why I'm buying it. But it's installing right now. I do have a channel, a YouTube channel where I play The Sims and I might, you know, record my screen and stuff and upload this as well because, you know, simulation at the end of the day. So that's what I'm about to do now. And yeah, I'm gonna have fun playing this game. So not sure how long I've been playing that, but yeah, it's now all past 6 p.m. So I might actually finish the vlog here because now I need to go shower, have dinner and all of that stuff, which I don't really 
think it's gonna be interesting so i'm not gonna film it but yeah thank you so much for watching if you guys like these day in the life uh kind of you know vlog thingies then let me know and i can do more and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you later with another video bye